Now the trenches new shit, bro. That's probably one of the most fucked up things that I seen in the recent times because I'm a blogger, bro. He ain't have to do that. So knowing why he did that, which was for money, was pretty wild. I know FBG Duck is probably did not want him to do that. So he probably really rolling in his grave, bro. Looking at that, he talk about I did it for FBG Duck. No, nigga, you did it for that twenty four thousand dollars. You feel me? A quick come up. But what people don't see. Bro, that shit about to change the whole trajectory of this shit. You feel what I'm saying? And what I mean by that is bloggers are about to start getting the perfect idea. Like, oh, police will pay for this shit. They'll pay for the information that I learned on the back end. All I got to do is testify. Fuck it. I might don't never see these niggas anyway. Don't you don't get these people that idea like that. Mind you, I'm not I'm not in the streets or none of that, but it's just like bro, you did that. What happened? What about your moms and shit? What about your family? What about your brothers? What about your if you got kids? Like you putting all of them in harm's way for a quick payday, a quick come up. Nah, bro, that's backwards. You feel me? And me from somebody who been in a situation like that, it's like back in the day. Po like police had an investigation going on, and I was one of the ones posting all the bullshit content. You feel me? All the beef shit, la da da. So they ended up sending me a cease and desist letter for my page. You feel what I'm saying? Luckily, everything didn't go through, and of course I combated it because I don't even live in Virginia, and I don't know these people by their names and shit like that. So it's like you can't, you can't. Even though you may send a cease and desist, we can combat it. Also, I'm a legally owned br uh, brand and LLC. You feel me? So it's like. You can't make me be affiliated with people I'm not affiliated with, if that makes sense to y'all. You know what I'm saying? So it was the combat. So all I'm saying is Trench's News, he didn't have to do that. He did that for personal gain. You feel what I'm saying? Like 100% personal gain. And I just feel like not only did he devalue his brand, but he devalued the culture in Chicago because it's showing how niggas really can get caught up just by being on social media. Niggas would be so mad at niggas like academics. So myself, but bro, a local Chicago blog, Chicago blogger who made it out, gay information about street shit. It's about to be most shit coming. Probably some Ricos, probably all this other type shit that's probably about to take place outside of this old block case that Trenches New told in. On top of that, niggas be trying to keep everything discreet. You feel me? Man, nigga, nigga. You trying to keep your face discreet, bro. They got yearbooks. They got news articles. They got this. They got that, bro. They know your name. You feel what I'm saying? All they got to do is look up your name and find out whatever they want to find out. And, bro, your face is out there. So wearing a ski mask is not going to hide the people from knowing who you are, bro. We know who you are. We know what you look like. We just got to look it up. You know what I'm saying? Period. Young is going to go to hella interviews. So you really put yourself... Your family, your people in harm's way for twenty four thousand dollars. You a popular YouTube blogger. You could have made that probably in two months or a month, a good month. You could have made that. So me, nah, I don't agree with that shit at all. Like I ain't saying ah uh, something wrong with him, but bro, nah, bro, nah, bro. Like I said, someone who been in a situation like that with any type of federal investigation, it's like nah, he went out, he went out bad for that. He went out super bad for that one. I just don't own. Um, nah, nah. That was that was bad. That was.